Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode number 20. Sorry, had to look and double check. And we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We just fought over at the end of time, got the uh, special package from Sepiko, Sepiko, I, I can, there's no pronunciation guide, and this is the first time I've ever had to really pronounce it. Um, so I apologize to, uh, to the writers. And, um... So we did our big battle. We found Frog hiding in the Cursed Woods, and he feels that he is not a hero anymore. Sad face. And we are now going to find Tata, who is running around claiming to be a hero. And we're over at the Dinadaro. Didaro? I wanted. I almost said Didario, but I know that's not right. We're headed over to the mountains, and uh, we're going to go find the kid who is claiming to be the hero. And... Um, that's right, we ended up over here. I don't... We could technically avoid these battles, but obviously I didn't. And, um... Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're... Oh, come on. I'm waiting, guys. I, I might have to use some speed capsules on these guys. Although the counterattack is uh, doing very nicely. Thank you very much. Let's get these guys out the way. Let's just blast them real quick. Bam. All right. Um, I was hanging on to some of these. Uh, ooh, got a panacea. I was hanging on to some of these uh, capsules, tabs, to use until I got frog. But honestly, I really need to get the speed up on at least one of these guys. Chrono's doing good. But man, Luca and Robo are slow. Um, I'm prop. I've only got the one speed capsule right now, so I'm going to go ahead and bump Robo, because when Marley's not in the party, he is the healer, and I'm probably going to divvy up the strength between Chrono, Frog, and, uh, the next person that we get when we get there. Um, and I'll hold off on the magic capsules until then, too. Alright. That out of the way. I thought there was one of these that had a, uh, hidden something off to the side. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Um. that B say? No, okay, no. The other part of my problem is that the uh, the lighting to get the good camera light um, makes the glossy pages of the power guide really, really hard to read. Uh-oh. Hey. Oh, is that the kid? I think that's the kid. Hmm. Bam. That was good. Uh, hey, hey, kid. <laughs> this is a terrible place. You best run away while you can. There he is. That's the dude with the hammer. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a... Bam. And why not? Let's hit him with a tackle while we're at it. Bam. He is all the dead. 32 XP, 2 tech points, 80 gold. Nice, nice. Um, did the kid just split? The kid just split. Alright, uh, let's see. Hmm, do I want to go ahead? Yeah. Alright, yeah, I'll return to the kid's house after... I'm pretty sure that was Tata. Ah, yeah, there we go. That's one of the items I was looking for. That is the best hand we're going to have for Robo at this point in time. That brings his attack up to 62 total. It's an attack 30 hand. Which, um, if I remember right, that puts him pretty close to... Yeah, so that's 59 total. 
Her attack's always kind of low. But that's okay, it goes off of accuracy instead of strength, and yeah. Alright. That just made life a little easier. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I'm at on the maps, too. Um, I think I want to go up here, though. Because that's probably going to be how I get to that book. Book. Box. The box. Get to the box. And get an Athenian water. Alright. Nothing else to do there. And can we sneak over here? And get an ether. Alright, um... Is that the up I want to go? I think so for now. Um... There's nothing... It doesn't look like there's anything else down there. But let me, let me go back and double check. That's what I get for not looking at the map ahead of time. But that, that's the kind of... Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. That is the best you can do. And we already got... It's empty! We already got the hand, and that was the big thing. And for kicks and XP, let's go ahead and kick his XP. Or not. Oh. Never mind. There we go. Alright, um... Let's go... Burn him. And let's go... Cyclone sweep. Oh, no. I want to go supersonic spin. That should take care of those guys pretty quick. Bam. Bam. 71 XP. 4 tech points. 205 gold. The gold train. Sorry. <laughs> I am feeling a little punchy. In no small part because I, I am still a little under the weather. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and take care of these guys too because they got the box behind them. And... Come on, Luca. Get in the game. Combo. Fire roll is not going to hit both of them. So we'll do the fire sword since that's going to do the most damage. And let's go ahead and do the laser... Laser dance. Do that disco thing. Because that should finish them off. Everybody's still good on magic points except for Robo. Robo's looking a little low. Might have to actually dip into some of the uh, ethers and all that before too long. Ooh, 500 gold. That goes a long way to replenishing some ethers too. Yeah, this is fairly, uh... Come on. You wanted it. You asked for it. Let's go. Combo. Fire sword. Attack. So we can conserve his magic just a smidge. Bam. Kind of lost track on where in the map I am. Um, hmm. Okay. Then we'll go from there. On to there. Sure. Let's dance. Well, that was... That's the kind of fight I like. Easiest 125 gold I've earned so far. Alright, um... Uh, nope. I just want the box. Combo... Let's see. Let's go ahead and do the fire whirl. That should take them both out. Chrono's getting a little on the magic points too. Might have to stop and do something about that. Alright. Alright. And an Athenian water. Alright, yeah, we want this one first. 
to get our mid ether. That should help with the magic point issues. Let's do that right there. Get a golden helm, which is good because that was what was Robo was missing. He's been stuck on this iron helm since we found him, and the gold helm will bring his, oh, wrong button. Um, the gold helm will bring his defense uh, go from a defense of fourteen to a defense of eighteen, and yeah. So now he's got the best hand I can get him: a gold helm, golden suit. And Luke has got the best helm she can have in a golden suit. Golden helm, golden suit. Best beret in a golden suit. So everybody is rocking the solid gold lifestyle. And now we can continue. All right. Just remember, you started this. See, notice how, um, <laughs> how little damage he took. We do one little burn of his hammer. And then, bam, 250. <laughs> nice. All right. Looted him for his pocket change. Come on. Let's do this. Let's dance. No, oh, no, no, no. Doggone it. I hate it when I hit the wrong button. All right, deck, fire. Because I didn't want them on auto. There we go. Alright, so. Let's see if we can finish this off real quick. And then, uh, yeah, it looks like Chrono's starting to get a little low on health. Might need to do something about that. There we go. I need to hurry up and finish that while it's still sort of warm. Yikes. Tech. Robo. Cure beam. Bam. Um. A few magic points. We'll go ahead and top everybody else off. And I keep hitting the wrong stupid button. Inventory. We got a bunch of these ethers. Mid ether is going to be quicker, but I might as well use up the ether. So let's go 30, 40. Close enough. 43, close enough. 28, 38, close enough. I know, I know. It's technically not close enough without going over. But, um, yeah. Did I just come up that? Yes. I came up there, came up there. There's no other, uh, no other paths to go. Except over here. Get a potion. All right, onward and forward. Now... Okay. There should be a couple things to pick up over here. Yeah. There we go. Um, hmm. Yeah, we definitely got a couple things we're going to want to pick up over here. Like, ah, uh, the mid ether isn't what I was hoping for. I thought it was on the other side. No? Alright, fine. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. Um, combo. Alright, Fire World's not going to hit both of them, so Fire Sword it is. And then Laser Spin. Do the Disco. That is almost disco sounding music, isn't it? Somebody had a little too much fun with that. Alright. Nope, oh, nope, nothing hiding behind there. Alright, 
These guys are easy enough. I won't waste the uh, magic points on them. Let's just go with a regular attack. They should be finished shortly. Bam! Alright. What was it that I was looking for? 600 gold? That wasn't what I was looking for, but I will happily take it. There's supposed to be a couple of accessories that you pick up on this mountain somewhere. And I just, I forget where. And I can't read the glossy paper under this lighting. It is really starting to get to me. Are these guys going to die to counterattacks before we get any? Alright, let's go ahead and just napalm him. And then the regular attacks should finish him off. Bam! Gone. Done. Nice. Although well, Chrono's health is looking a little low again. Okay. Combo. Fire sword. Let's take care of him. Let's go cure beam. Get his health up before this goes too much further. And then we'll go combo. Supersonic spin. Oh, no. Doggone it. I wasn't expecting him to die that quick. I wouldn't have wasted both of their magic points on that one. Onward and forward. Hopefully Luca can get her act together, because I'd love to just uh, napalm the two of them. Bam. Because that should burn his hammer. Yep. And now we get to finish him off with a regular attack this time. Should be getting close to, to our objective at the top of the mountain. Alright, maybe not. Yeah. And combo, supersonic spin. And that should finish them all off. Now that his hammer's burnt. Bam. Done. Nice. Alright, trying to be very careful here, because uh, we're already getting... Ooh, 300 gold. <laughs> Alright, let's do this one too. Combo. That should finish them all off without uh, too much uh, too much more fuss. Boom. 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 Done. Ah! Oops. That was not what I wanted. That was so not what I wanted. Or maybe it was. No, I think that's not what I wanted yet. That silver earring was one of the two pieces of equipment that I knew was over here somewhere. It was just a matter of... Remembering where. There we go. Now we're back on track. That's the hidden path. Okay. At least they're not going to make us grind through those guys again. That's done. Now we are going to have to fight these guys again, but that's simple enough. One more discotheque. All right. And they should be finished. Boom. I'll take the XP, though. Ooh, Luca learned to protect. Robo's level increased. 
Always nice. All right, let's not fall down the waterfall again this time. And a mid potion. I thought there was one other item that you got along the way here. Um, well, before I go too much further, I almost forgot that Luca's health was not looking so hot. So let's fix that. There we go. Quiet, you'll ruin our ambush. <laughs> oh, that's right. The other thing I was going to look for is the Rage Ban. 50% counterattack. The Silver Earring boosts your max hit points by 25%. Um, probably ought to sell some of these off, the ones that I'm not going to use anyway. Like, I'm probably not going to use the Sight Scope at all. Uh, the Headband, probably not anymore. The Guardian Bangle, eh, that might come in handy. The Berserker Ring's good for certain parts of the game when you're trying to grind levels up. Uh, the Power Glove will come in handy later. Speed Belt, ooh, I might want to actually throw that on, uh, on Luca instead. Magic Scarf. That was one of the ones I picked up. That bumps up the magic by two, which would be nice. But, um, alright. He's got the ribbon, which bumps accuracy. Which is nice, because that makes her hit harder. But honestly, um, I need her faster. And Robo's got the bump in stamina. But, uh, I don't know. Let's bump up his, uh, yeah, let's bump up his strength and take the extra attack. Yeah, and she's already got a magic scarf. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Regular attacks for these guys, because they are wussy enough. Bam. Gone. Done. Finished. Oof. Trying to keep an eye on time. I did a good for uh, episode 19. But uh, 20 is looking a little iffy. UH. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, I did, didn't mean to cough into the mic on that one. Um, I really think I might want to go back to the waterfall to go pick up something that mountains are so nice. Yeah, if you bother this guy enough, he's supposed to give you a magic tab. There we go. Nice. Alright, um, where is the fall to that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, yep, yeah, we're missing one other item. So let's... Uh, you guys are really going to make me do this. Alright. This episode's going a little bit longer than I wanted because... Backtracking. <laughs> At least we're not going that far back. I kind of hate that we're going to have to fight these guys twice. Oh, a third time once we go through. There is apparently something this side. That's what I missed. I knew I was missing a box somewhere. There's the silver stud. And I think... Silver earring... Silver Stud. The Silver Stud reduces magic point consumption. I'm tempted to put that on Chrono because he burns through magic like it's nobody's business. And he only gets the 44 points. Luca's got the 48, but you can see she's doing pretty good on that. Um, although, Robo could use it. He's only got the 42 points. Least of all... 
And it's not like he needs that big a strength boost. He's already at 32. Yeah. Let's trade that out for Silver Stud and reduce his magic consumption. That was the waterfall I should have gone down the first time. Alright. Up, up, and away, and around the corner. Let's see if we can get to... Um... You're going you're gonna to do this, aren't you? Fine. Let's do this. Combo supersonic spin. Bam. All y'all. One hit. Go away. Yes. Well, getting the XP is always nice, too. Although, when I get to Mazumun, I might want to just go ahead and throw uh, Marley into the mix, depending on who's who needs exp uh, experience most. Alright, let's get rid of these guys with regular attacks, because magic points run a little low, and I don't want to burn through all my ethers before getting to Mazamoon. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and go inventory. Shelter. Oop, wrong button. Save. Alright, and that means that we should be that we should be getting ready to go fight uh, Masa and Moon. Um, yep. I've already gone a little bit longer than I wanted to, so I'm going to go ahead and jump to the credits and leave you in suspense for the second time this stream this week. For the second time, I'm going to stop before I get too much further along and say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow on Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely, no matter what, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content gets posted. So, live folk, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.